now it's time time to review the G.I. Joe Classified Zartan. One of the most favorite action figures ever was the classic Zartan, so I really, really <laughs> I wanted to open it as soon as it walked through the door almost, but I was like, I need to do a review. <laughs> so let's open it. Quick. So in my excitement for this opening this figure, I forgot to mention the box art, but if you like they got some really cool box art of Zartan here. And then on the side with his disguise mask. And then of course the other stuff on the back by the way. Let's get this open. Right away, the Zartan figure has the best background of any of these that come with it. Because you got the dreadnoughts background. Great display background. And right away this is like the coolest of the G.I. Joe's classified so six inch so far. So Zartan and all his glory. And this like I said in most of the reviews of these, this is every one of these figures, if you ask me right away you could tell like this is Roboc or well the Cobra Island Roboc I mean, I agree with a lot of people. It almost made me think him metal in a way. But it's robot. Gung ho's gung ho. You know, Duke's Duke. Snake has snake. You, you know them, even though there's differences between them. And this is very much Zartan Golden. And it's pro it, it went above the Destro, is my favorite so far. But th this is just really cool. But let's go over the things that come with him real quick before we even get into the figure itself. You get. Zartan's face, his alternate face, get that with it, which is slightly different than the original figure, but I like it, looks cool. I think I seen somebody the other day online that was doing already, starting to do some customs of these, that would be so cool if somebody could do customs of, of these face plates for like most of the Jobs, or most of the, um, Cobras, that would be really awesome thing to have um, with him. Uh, you get his gun, and this is very much Zartan's gun. And like I said, with most of them, you might add you some silver, but this is his almost space looking gun that Zartan had. So, this is really cool. And you get Zartan knife. Remember, Zartan's a swamp guy. You get his knife. And I have to say, the only thing it didn't come with this, which I very much wish it did, was a bow and arrow. Because I've, I've always associated that with him a little bit. And then you get his backpack, which looks like the backpack could come with it. And there's areas for putting stuff in it, but this backpack opens up. And it looks like more of a secret apartment backpack. I love these, like the old Joes. Like, that was one of my biggest things with, like, the Destro. is that his gun could go in his back, in his, like, uh, suitcase he had. And this very much has that, that feeling. This is a solid piece, too. So, that come with him. And then two of the cooler pieces, I didn't even know come with him until I watched a review. You got a snake head. That's, like, kind of like a trophy stuff thing that he has with him that you can attach to his belt and then you got you got a monkey paw so Sartan got a monkey paw somewhere <laughs> I might have to do an action photography uh like figure photography of him getting each one of these things but that's some of the cool stuff that come with Sartan and it's pretty awesome but let's look at the figure itself like like I said very much this is Sartan you got his pads on his legs that are very much Zartan. Goes right there. You can see the shine. And of course, Zartan's showing his belly because he's in good shape. And yet, his like chest armor. But you got the hood. And and the hood comes off like that. And he's got one of those uh, handkerchiefs. Kind of like the uh, Cobra Viper does. But hook goes back on pretty easily. And I think the set's pretty good. And I think that handkerchief actually hit, helps it set down on there. But it's very much a very cool figure. And the shoulder pads go up. So it gives it a lot more movement. 
but you got <coughs> excuse me overall this is just a really cool figure and i'll do some like videos go on different details on it but you got his the only thing i found that i really don't like with it initially pulling it out and and looking at it is this even though it's cool having it back here this knife sheath is really hard like the belt moves around like you can see the belt moves and stuff up now and it's loose on it but this is a really hard piece so i would have liked it to be a little bit more of a softer piece there but overall like get the back here for his backpack but Sartan's like chest thing is always looked more solid and this gives it solid even though this is a a separate piece with all this so technically you could probably get that off but and I like the details on his boots too if you look at them right there look a little bit like like Zartan's always been one of the coolest characters you could ever find in G.I. Joe or anywhere else. And just quickly to put, since I, I don't do articulation, I mainly just talk about my figures. If you take them, I think you need to take the mask off. I mean, the thing off. Slightly put that on. And then that goes on top of it. And then you got his look like that. Which is really cool. It's a simple thing they did with the original, and it works really well with this, too. And it fits pretty snug on there, too. And, like, you can see the seams, but if you're doing it, like, far away shots or something like that with pictures, you really won't see them as much. And seeing Zartan without his hood always looks weird. But, like, Zartan's just such an awesome character. And speaking of Zartan... And the dreadnoughts. We don't have any dreadnoughts yet. But I've been thinking ever since this line started, like finding figures that I think would make dreadnoughts. And I've looked, like, am I going to go more weary, weird with the dreadnoughts or something? Two characters right away from my other toys that I have that I think would make good dreadnoughts. is a couple of WWE figures. Nikki Cross and Ruby Riot. And those would be the first of Zartan's dreadnoughts. So these are the first of my dreadnoughts. And hopefully there'll be a lot more dreadnoughts I'd like Predone to re release more dreadnoughts in the line. I don't know if it's really going to happen very much because the, the characters not being as iconic as some of the others uh, and just mainly looking like biker gang members. But uh, I've seen a lot of people use Fortnite figures as, as they're making as their dreadnoughts. Like, uh, I have a couple of wrestling figures I might use, but I think these two really fit. I mean, hers is kind of supposed to be a biker gang anyways with Nikki Cross and the Ruby Riot just fits in but I have other stuff I want to add to them to make them even more dreadnought a while back I got these decals and I got them from you can look right here make sure I focus really good in on this because I want everybody to get the, the credit for their stuff um I got these uh from Bad Mother Tattoos and Customs. And uh, these decals were really cool. I mainly use some of the Cobra ones and some of the um, Ninja Tattoo ones on some other figures to make them, you know, part of my G.I. Joe universe more. But I, they had a lot of these and it was a really good price for like a, just a bunch of them. But if you focus on some of these right here, if I can get there you'll see Zartan right there and if I'm not mistaken these are dreadnoughts I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass and look on because my eyes are really really not very good but I think those are dreadnoughts and or well, those are Cobra um, 
but if they aren't dreadnoughts, I've seen other places that mentioned that they had them for sale. I think that is a dreadnought one. And excuse me. And the plan right now is to get everything all focused. I'm so professional here. Um, but I'm not. I'm just having fun reviewing stuff. The plan is to put the decals on certain places on like these figures. So I'm thinking on like the Nikki Crawl. So I might put them like on her jacket here. I think that would be the best place for hers. And then I don't know if I'm going to put one on Sartan himself. Because I think Sartan would be like I ain't wearing no dreadnought thing on me. Because he is the dreadnoughts. And on Ruby Riot. I could either do the boots, or, I mean, there's really not a good place on her jacket, or I could make the dreadnoughts when I her tattoos. Like, I could put a dreadnought, like, right here, tattooed. I haven't decided yet. I mean, one of her knee pads has, like, artwork on it, but the other one, oh, no, it's not a knee pad. Yeah, it is. I think it is a knee pad, even though I think her pants is supposed to go down that far um so i might put it here on this knee pad or on her leg right here or even right here there's a space right here on the side i could put the dreadnought uh simple decals so those are my zartan and dreadnoughts starting out so to see how some of the stuff works with his like it it, it came with him like, you got his backpack and his extra face or goes in there. Fits really snug in there. Doesn't come out. And then you got his, his like, high-tech face stuff. Goes on there. And there is, I think, his big knife that he has goes on one side of this if I'm mistaken I'm supposed to yeah because it has that loop right there so his knife can go on one side and does his gun go on the other one or one of the monkey paws go on the other oh yeah his gun can go there so you got his gun and his knife going on each side and then these monkey paws and stuff go on his belt. You can see right here, there's a hole there. And there's where his knife goes, of course. But there's, oh yeah, there's the second one. You see it right there. So, I'm going to pull it up on that belt. I don't know where his belt is supposed to sit. Because... Like, this part's attached. Like I said, I hate the fact that that's hard and this part's attached because you, then you can't spin the belt around. But it's loose on him, too. Sometimes I don't know why they do some of that stuff. But you can attach the monkey paw. And then... Where'd I put it? Oh. The snake head. Hanging off. Side. Like he's been in a swamp. Collecting stuff. Like I said, overall, this is, like, has to be my favorite of the G.I. Joe Classified figures so far. Just, like, awesome. I'm a freak. I'm an outcast. I'm a shadow. I stand with the lost souls Looking for a hustle Got a pulse on the streets I'm the one you won't look in the eye no. Yeah, well, I can see what's headed for you down that road And soon it's coming to take everything you know When the monster crawls out of the sea you're gonna need somebody like me When your brother's got blood in the streets You better call somebody like me I was made in the shadows Where the light ain't allowed to go When the line gets a little blurry You're gonna need somebody like me Through the smoke, through the fog, through the bone 
hearts When your white knight's in his grave, I'm your last call Cause you're about to walk through places they don't know you If they don't know you, it ain't safe, y'all Yeah, well, I can see what's headed for you down that road And soon it's coming to take everything you know Yeah, when that monster crawls out of the sea You're gonna need somebody like me When your brother's got blood in the streets You better call somebody like me I was made in the shadows Where the light ain't allowed to go When the light gets a little blurry You're gonna need somebody like me Better call somebody like me Cause you want somebody like me When the line gets a little blurry Gonna need somebody